Oh man, you know what kind of tree this is? It's a climbing tree. Downtown Denver. Check it out. Hey everybody, I'm at Rocky Mountain Arsenal. It's a national wildlife refuge. They have a lot of animals here. It used to be a chemical production plant uh, during World War II. They cleaned it up and they made it nice for the animals. And there's all kinds of animals here. I've already seen coyote, but the animal that I'm here for are bison. So will I find them? Who knows, but that's why I'm here. So uh, let's go. So I'm on this uh, scenic drive uh, path through Rocky, uh, Rocky Mountain National Arsenal and I come through here sometimes to find buffalo or bison and sometimes I'm lucky sometimes I'm not but I love seeing them. Uh, they don't get as close to your car at least they haven't got as close to my car as they do in some places but you know they're out here roaming around and hopefully I can find them. Some deer wandering around doing their thing. All right, there are bison right there. Camera might not be picking it up, but those little dots of bison just grazing on buffalo grass. Hopefully I can get a little closer somewhere else. All right, I found some cool little bunker. This used to be a, a military base and they produced chemicals. I'm not sure what it was used for, but check it out. Maybe when they uh, exploded the weapons, people observed from in here. Oh, I can hear my echo. This is pretty thick, pretty thick glass. Huh. These little tubes here, I don't know what they were used for. Look at these prairie dog holes. I'm pretty sure we'll see some prairie dogs before it's all over. Pretty solid concrete structure. I don't know if you can pick that up, but from here at Rocky at Mountain Arsenal, there is Denver, downtown Denver. It's super flat out here. The mountains you can see in the background. but up into the mountains is generally flat, so pretty cool looking. Those three big humps, those are bison. Massive creatures. Wish, wish I could, uh, wish I knew a bison call like I call my cats. I tell them to come over here to the fence. So I decided to get out and take a little walk. Saw some bison at a distance, but uh, just wanted to get some fresh air and sunlight. Check this out. I think this is called Lake Mary. It's all frozen. So Rocky Mountain Arsenal 
National Wildlife Refuge used to be a chemical production plant during World War II. And right up maybe till or a little bit after the Vietnam War, uh, we stopped making chemical weapons here. It's against the Geneva Convention, so uh, we started using this to dispose of chemical weapons. Um, I think maybe in the 70s, early 80s, they started doing a really expensive cleanup here, millions of dollars, and they left this area for the wildlife. And that's pretty much what it is, a refuge to, a refuge for wildlife, buffalo or bison, coyotes, whatever, all the animals that are native to this region, a lot of birds and stuff. What I like about Colorado, so many places to go off on your own, and there aren't a lot of people. There's so many regions where there's just people everywhere, and it's hard to get away from them. Not that I just want to get away from people all the time, but I like that balance. Sometimes I have to have my quiet and solitude, think and reflect and just breathe. And live now. I really do like the idea of this being a place where they manufacture death and now it being uh, something for everyone and everything. They make sure they keep it beautiful and natural now and uh, the place is healing and I dig that. I like that in all aspects of life. If you can think of an example of something that was bad and turned to positive, leave it in the comments. I really like that sort of thing, even with people. I think some of us can think about our past and some of the things we've done and how we lived. And, you know, as soon as we knew better, we did better. They knew better not to make chemical weapons here, and now they did better, and I'm grateful for it. Kind of glad that it's a little chilly because last time I was here, I think it was summertime, and there were mosquitoes all by the water. And uh, for some reason, I didn't expect mosquitoes to be out here. I just think of that in like Florida thing in the south. And there's some on the east coast too, but I don't know. I didn't expect them to be here. Oh man, you know what kind of tree this is? It's a climbing tree. Well, every, every tree is a climbing tree if you can get up there. Let's see if there's no way in here. Get up here and hold this camera at the same time. Tell me this isn't the perfect chill spot between this tree. It's 
It's like this was made for me to stand in. I could sit right here and chill. Hope nobody walks around. Hope nobody walks around and gets scared by me sitting up here. This big grown man sitting in the middle of that tree. I like this spot. Can't really see it, but plains are back there. Mountains are over there. Lake here. There's a trail I was walking down. This is cool. All right, now it's time to get down. Let me put this back down. How's it going? Pretty good. Beautiful day out today. Oh, I love it. For sure. I can take all my winters. Yes, for sure. Uh, I don't know where to go. There's the unknown. And there's some interesting, weird plants. I can always come back. Let's check this out. It's just a bridge. Frozen on that side. Don't see any fish. I like every once in a while, as I said in other videos, I like to get out and get fresh air and walk. But I don't know if I have a favorite place that I do walk or hike. But I'm wondering if any of you have a favorite place you like to walk and hike. Um, I mean, it could be in nature, it could be in a city, it could be a neighborhood. Leave it in the comments. I'm really curious on where everyone likes to take a walk. Sometimes you go out and it could be at night and you feel energized and you want to party and have fun. Sometimes you just feel, you know, like you want some peace and you feel more in tune with nature and the universe. And uh, what sort of walks do you like to take and where? Let me know. I have to say this trail is not the most exciting. I'm right next to a road and it's a big government, well, I wouldn't say big, but it's a government building there. So, but it is still quiet. I'm happy about that. Who else had only seen tumbleweeds in Roadrunner uh, Wile E. Coyote cartoons? Here's Here's what they look like up close. They're kind of crazy because they have all these little thorns and they, they're dry and easily blown across the plains and they attach themselves to whatever. So if you have a really big windstorm and there's a lot of tumbleweeds, 
it can cause a lot of problems for your neighborhood or your city. Look at that. It's pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever picked one up. I've seen them out here though. Well, there you go. Oh, there's been a deer here letting out his pooplets. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if that was deer poop or not, but it was definitely, definitely an animal and not a human. Oh. Deer tracks. That's it for my walk today. This is a cool place. I come here every once in a while. I've probably been here about six or seven times and I just take a walk looking for bison each time. I got to see them and you got to see them, not up close, but maybe next time. Um, they're just massive animals and you hear so much about them with them in American history out here in the plains and in the West. Uh, they're just cool to see, you know, when they talk about how big they are and how fast they run and powerful they are and how the natives would chase them down and kill them and use them for everything that they could. Uh, they're just impressive, beautiful animals to see. So uh, maybe next time we come out here, we'll check them out. Uh, if you like what I do and want to support me, feel free to uh, donate at buymeacoffee.com forward slash novel world. Uh, press the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe and uh, press the bell notification so you get it. And share them also. If you think anybody else will get value out of this or maybe enjoy it, share it. And uh, it really helps me out. And, uh, you know, I want to make something that everybody will enjoy. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.